Hello, guys. How are you doing? I hope you're all right. I think it's time for a Christmas jingle, which I have made already. And what I'm going to do is、uh, talk you through the steps I took to make it. The reason I've done it already is it was quite a long process. This one took me about two and a half hours, I think, and I don't think anyone wants to sit there for that long. So hopefully I can walk it through with you in about five, ten minutes, probably more likely ten. So this is what it's going to sound like. So there you go. That is the jingle that we're gonna make, or I'm gonna show you how to, how I put together. So I've muted all the tracks, and we're gonna go through them one by one. They're in no particular order, but I have mixed it down. This is the first section. This is the no, this is not. This is the first section. This is the drums. This is what I put down first, sounding like this. That is this software right here. It is complete control, and this is the、um, where are we? This is the Studio Drummer. That is in complete control fourteen, I think. However, you can buy it separately. Doesn't matter. I played those in on the keyboard down there, just as usual. You know, playing a little beat. I started off with.、Um, The snare intro, which is this little part here, is just a rolling snare. Then it builds up into the rest, and then the little outro at the end there. And on there, I've just got this little compressor. Not doing a great deal there, just sticking it all together. So after the old um. What do you call them? After the drums, I've then gone for a bass, and I was hoping that the bass would help me to put in the kind of melody. And this is the bass here. This is、um, again another complete control. They're all complete instruments. This is the prime bass. So on its own. And on there, you've got a compressor, looking like that. And this EQ, just a little bit removed here and there. They were actually just presets within Logic. That's the E Bass preset, and with the Channel EQ, I used the Slapped Bass EQ. Then I think I moved on to. The piano, I believe it was. That's where we're going to go next. So this is the guy right here. It's the Maverick again. Complete control. All of them are. So I'll stop mentioning that. But this is the Maverick. I did nothing to it. I just selected the sparkling Maverick preset. And yeah, you can see here. It's just chords. It was.、Um, it's just the C chord played down the scale, or higher up, I think. Really straightforward. On there, you've got a、um, the Grand Piano EQ preset, and on the compressor, just the piano preset. The piano is also sent to a reverb on the bus. It's Raum, Raum. I don't know who it's called, but he again is by Native Instruments. Looking like that. That's the setup I've got there. It's just the default, and I've got it bussed across to there. Next instrument, 
is the guitar, electric guitar. It's just got little accents like here. Just spices it a little bit and then at the end here it just plays out a little bit. There you go, and on there, we're, again, just a little EQ cutting away the lows there. Next instrument, horns. And they look like this. That's a total lie, they do not look like that. That is the guitar. That's your horns right there. I didn't mention that the horns and the guitars are panned. Horns left, guitars right, just widens it up a little. The horns are also sent to that same reverb that I showed you earlier. And then down here we've got chimes. You have to have chimes, right? It was just a, um, a sample that I dragged in from a Native Instruments library. Those guys have just got EQ with everything cut at the bottom. Which leads me on to two more instruments. This little sample here, you cannot have a Christmas jingle or a Christmas song without the sleigh bells. They again, they have this EQ with a lot of low end cut, a little boost at the top. And they are also sent to the reverb. You see with Without and with the reverb is quite a lot of difference. I'll play that for you. Makes them sparkle. And then for the last little instrument on here is the bells for the intro. They've been sent to a reverb. They have compression looking like this. And they've got this EQ. I've just had a little fiddle around just to stop some of the weird harshy sounds i'll play it to you with it on and with it off this is obviously on and then with it off quite subtle but it just um tidies up some of the harsh sounds that it had so so far you've got Wow, this is all the instrumentation. So that is that. Then it takes me on to the singing. I cannot show you the 100% sentence because I used a lot of Melodyne on this because my voice is horrible. So um, this is the... The lead. I went in and sung the lead first. Um, uh, before the tuning, it was horrible, but I've done plenty of videos where I take you through the tuning, so I haven't um, saved all of that. So what I do is I've got this track right at the top here. Again, I've explained this in videos, but I'll go through it once again for this one. This is where I record my vocal. I find it quick to do it like this if I'm doing a jingle. I'll record the vocal, then I bounce it, which applies all of the effects to the region or the sample if you like. Then I tune it, then I um, bus it. So I've done each one individually. I sung the first one, I, tune, I bounced it, I tuned it, then I sang the second, bounce tune, and the third, bounce and tune. Then I've bussed them all to a stereo output where I've put com uh, more effects on all of them. So the first group of effects which are applied to them are these ones down here. I've got the noise gate, the EQ compressor, another EQ, another compressor, a multipressor, an exciter and a deesser. I won't, I, like I said, I won't go through all of them. We've done that loads of times. I always use the same ones. And then once they're all bust, all three of them to the same bus right here, I've got Neutron, which has just got a gate 
an equaliser and a compressor. I've then got the channel EQ. A sample to delay to give it a little bit of width. And a chorus. Just to stop it, you know, make it sound a little less shit. So I'll um, solo this one so you can hear it. And then I'll bring the other two in so you can see the difference that it makes when you've got all three rather than just one. Santa Claus is on his way. Riding on his magic sleigh, it's Christmas time on your favourite station. So you can hear how the, it's boosted up the stereo on there. I mean, I can turn them up a little more so you can hear them properly, but I've just got them all sat down gently. Santa Claus is on his way, riding on his magic sleigh, it's Christmas time. And with this one off. Spreading all the festive cheer. With wine and plenty of beer, it's Christmas time. But together they all make a nice little, um, what do you call it? They sound good together. Let's just go with that. So, without further ado, there's your whole jingle. I'm not really sure you know, like how I can explain it better without doing it while you watch. But if I did it while you watched, you'd probably get bored. It, it's pretty boring to watch. Oh, do you know what? I forgot one element. Santa. I'm not very good at doing a Santa, but this is him. So he does sound a bit shit, unfortunately, but that is my best stab. And to do that, I just, um, well, I did the best Santa I could do. <laughs> then I pitched it down by one note. I then brought it to Melodyne here just so that I could try and get them on point. Because um, when they weren't on the correct notes, it was sounding a little funny. When I did that, it sounded so much better. I don't know if I can, can I play you without that? Maybe I can. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And then with Melodyne. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Unfortunately, Melodyne's made that last note sound a little bit robotic. I'm not sure why. I had a couple of goes and I couldn't sort it out, but I'm going to live with it. Um, other than that, you've got um, Neutron doing a little, you know, compressors and equalization and stuff, which you don't need. You can do it all with stock plugins, but with Neutron, which is by Isotopes, by the way, you can just sit, hit the um, track assistant and it will bring you up something half decent and then you can just go in and tweak it how you like. And then there's just a chorus. And the sample delay just to um, widen up a little. It's bust to a compressor. Looking like that one. Everything here pretty much is bust to the bus compressor. And then it's bust also to the... Um, come on, mate. Oh, I'm just being dumb, that's all. Uh, to this reverb. And that is pretty much it. Please drop me questions because I don't know if I've covered everything. I know I haven't gone into the depths. I can't really show you how to um, write a Christmassy sounding song. You need to kind of just do it. I just had an idea. But if you are doing Christmas songs, you need to have chimes. You need to have sparkle, lots of reverb. Those, those are my keys. So you've got bells, sleigh bells, and little chimes. Got those on there, you'll make even the most un song sound Christmassy. So I'll let you hear it once more and then I'm out.
And there you have it. That is the Christmas jingle I put together today. Um, I'm going to get that up on uh, my BandLab page so you can download that for free. It will also be over on the Free Jingle Facebook group, which I will try and remember to link in the description. And um, yeah, you know, usual stuff. £15 for sung jingles. If you want the music as well, I'll charge a bit more. Depends how much I like you, I suppose. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you want that one customising, let me know. Although it's going to be about a week to turn that around. Right, next time. Bye-bye-bye.